When you grow in your understanding <coughs> of all things, and make no bones about it, all things have been revealed to those who believe in Christ. We've just got to work it out, the, the, uh, the meaning and understanding of it. And when we see things with our spiritual eyes, we understand things in context. For example, the new heaven and the new earth. Now, many people are, are saying, you know, the earth's going to be destroyed and replaced by new earth, blah, blah, blah. But this isn't so. The new heaven and the new earth is the new way, the new covenant, the new way of worshipping uh, <clears throat> the Lord of all creation. And, uh, and so those who come to understand, those who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, are citizens of the new heaven and new, new earth. They walk in, in the new earth. They walk in, in paradise. All things are being made new. The Lord Jesus Christ made all things new by the new covenant, the new arrangement. And so too, uh, all the old things have passed away. All the old ordinances and observances and practices and mindsets and ways of doing things of, of uh, serving God. And so too, the new language comes forward from those who are walking on the new earth. And it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. And uh, in that new earth, there is righteousness. The lion does lie, lie with the lamb. The child does play with the snake, etc., etc. There is no more sickness and death. There is no mourning or crying. Because the spiritual realm has been cleansed of all that is unrighteous and ungodly and, and of satanic forces. The spiritual realm has been made new. And so too, the new heaven and the new earth uh, dwells in a different dimension which we don't, will never understand. We will never see with our physical eyes. And we must understand this. We must come to this conclusion in uh, the fullness of time. Uh, in our, and the revelation and understanding comes uh, from the Spirit, from the Lord Jesus Christ, from uh, the revealing of all things to those who are earnestly seeking, knocking and asking and digging and those who love him. And so too, we're not afraid to speak that language. We're not afraid to speak the, the heavenly language about the new heaven and new earth, all things being made new. And, uh, and in there we worship day and night. We give glory and praise to God. We honour the king, we, we uh, submit ourselves before the king and give all the glory to him, uh, to the glory of the Father. This is the new heaven and new earth which wasn't made available in past generations because all everything had to be cleansed, everything had to be got rid of. But it doesn't happen physically, it doesn't happen physically. But we are always looking for it to happen physically. You're looking for the end of the world physically. You're looking for thunderbolts and lightning to strike the earth physically. But it is all spiritual. And spiritually, you know, uh, these things have happened. And so too, we walk in the newness of life, in spirit and truth, uh, dwelling in paradise earth, in the new, he in the new heaven and new earth. And the new, new heaven and new earth become one. And we become one with our, with our God, with our Saviour. And can you see how it all works out to that understanding that, we are all, that everything has been made new by the Lord Jesus Christ? And, uh, and it's all for him. It's all for him and by him and for the glory of the Father. And so too I can say with confidence, I can say without uh, feeling stupid, uh, even if it does sound stupid to some people, that... We are living in a new heaven and new earth now. And so I would urge those with discernment to uh, understand what I'm saying and uh, to stop looking with your physical eyes for a new heaven and new earth. 
and for a paradise on a, on on this earth, because all things are being made new, and uh, and truly I tell you today, this realization and understanding must come to pass for us all to be able to say we are truly citizens of the new earth. <laughs>